We've got our number four cake here, and what we're going to do is um, roughly mark out where we need to cut. Um, so just with a knife, mark out a rectangle piece at the bottom, a triangle piece off the top corner. You want to keep this piece here, this edge here, as wide as the bottom edge of the rectangle that you've cut out. You'll see the pieces as, as we cut them, what you end up with. Um, and then what we're going to do is once we've got the, the cuts that we need, um, we can proceed with cutting. This is just the first tier. And I'm going to cut through here. Careful here, I'm going to lift this away and you will slowly see the shape that we're getting. Now, with this piece, this piece is going to be. Um, a bit for going down and a bit for coming out of four. So um, we just need to get this how we want it to be. Um, so I've got a board here. I'm just roughly working out what sort of size we can do here. And as I mentioned, I'm trying to try and get this as big as we can to get the most cake for your money. Um, I'm going to cut this off here, like so, and then we're going to need a piece on the other side. So here we've, we've got a little bit of space either side, um, and then um, I'm going to cut a piece off for this edge as well, a little bit shorter than the last one. That'll be a piece for going there. Um, and then what we need to do is, based on that, just move this up a little bit. Like so. Put this on the end, and we get our cake board. Just need to make this one a little bit shorter. Just trim this down a little bit. a piece off the edge here. Like so, and then we'll have a triangle in the middle. we're going to leave in the cake we're just going to um, line it up so it'll end up with um, something that looks like that currently okay and we're going to slide in our next piece what we're going to do here is I'm just going to place this on top of the bottom tier to give us our template we get both sizes the same. Okay. 
Okay, so we can cut our rectangle out. Remember to remove the goose proof paper from any edges before you start cutting. that we need, like so, and then the same again for the next piece. pieces of cake that are the same size you can move the waste out of the way just, and we can just trim off Just zoom in a little bit. We'll see we have our number four shape, and that's ready to back cream. So let me just show you what we've done here again. We've with our bottom tier, we've trimmed off the top left hand corner, we've trimmed off a rectangle, cut squares, two squares one out of each layer of cake for the bottom bit the same again for the, for the edge and the middle rather than hollow this out so we can retain as much cake as possible we've, um, we're going to mark our middle bit out and leave it in so when we cover it you'll see you'll see what we mean by that so here's our number four cake and we're going to now um, start putting our black fondant around the outside of this um, it's been in the fridge for um, most of the day just for the back room to, to set um, what we'll do is we'll start um, I think we'll start from the back of the cake and work it round um, that way we can lose our join in the corner so we'll just get the top of our fondant in place and just carefully press round and bring the fondant round. and working that round, pushing it into the cake. Just making sure that um, it's in place. any little cracks you can work with your hands just to, to lose those and we'll come and trim round the cake in a, in a short while not too worried about that for now um, okay. 
I'm just working around the cake, just making sure that <coughs> we're in place. Okay, and then we can do the same with the next bit. <coughs> Can I apply some water down here? Okay, so in the same way as I did before, we're just getting a, a mark here. Um, like so. Just so we know roughly how big it is. Just giving myself a little bit of spare. Don't want it being a bit too big because by doing that, we've got you know we're going to have plenty left to overlap the bottom. And what I'm going to do here um, is we'll create the join from here again, and then um, actually what I'm going to do to begin with is just trim the bottom off just so that we know where we're joining to. Um, so I'm just going to trim around and um, tidy the edge off just where we're joining for now. We don't need to do the rest of it just yet. Position this bit in place, flip it round on that edge, yeah, lift up. Okay, you can start laying it down. That's okay, you don't need that bit. Quite fortunate, it's quite thin, so um, you have to be careful how you work it here. Work that into place. Around the black. So we've got it roughly in place, we can, can trim it. Bearing in mind we're going to have a border as well. So I'm just working this with my hand a little bit just to make sure that when I trim it, I've got the trim where we want it trimmed. Okay, so I've got our I'm just carefully positioning this in, just rubbing it down just to get it as you want it. I want to get it at a size that you can work with, okay? Get your, back, your smoother and then we're just going to go up to the top and then hold back to the bottom, up to the top, back to the bottom and as you can see it's starting to, to get longer and it's so much easier to do this with your smoother than it is with your hands because obviously your hands will make indentations where the smoother doesn't. That's probably fit enough this end then yeah. Yeah. 
because um, we want to make sure that we've got enough rolled fondant there to, to stick around. So we've got one little bit here for our red. So whilst Daniel does the same thing with, um, what's the other colour? Yellow, but yellow. they're cut out on the alternative colours. Yep. So if you do the yellow, I'll cut out some bits for our red. We cut these um, about the same one. Um, about three quarters of an inch maybe um, and we'll just go along cutting three quarter inch pieces we're going to get these similar sort of lengths like I said, smoother covers up our join nicely. And all we're doing here um, is just sealing Just um, pushing the edges together. Make sure there's enough water there. So what we've got here is um, the, the border all done now and what you can see is I've just very lightly etched a little triangle-ish shape in the middle for the central part of the bore um, which will form effectively part of our um, race track. So I'm going to um, just uh, wet that and we can Add the last of our edge of our race track um, to the cake. Like so. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is ice the board um, and for that I've got some green fondant already rolled out. I'm just going to cut the fondant in half. Taking the fondant carefully, I'm just going to Place it on the board. Where I want it positioned. Taking my water now, I'm just going to fold that so I don't get any on. And I'm just going to cover my board with a bit of water so it doesn't so it sticks nicely to the board.
And then again, we're just going to try and get a, a nicer edge here. Rubbing it. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting out the white squares as you can see, and all I'm doing is taking one square lining it up and then all I'm doing is just marking where the top bit is and then cutting down so I've done a few of them for now but what I'll do I just wanted to show you it um, what I'll do is I'll get on with the rest because I'm gonna um, need quite a few to do the checkers um, and when I've done them all I'll show you how we um, stick them together. Okay, so I've got my um, black and white squares done. And what I'm going to do now is take my water. Um, but first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position them on the board. I can see that one is a little bit longer, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim it off because I want them all to be the same size. Okay, as you can see, I've um, just positioned all our um, uh, checkers in. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to now, I'm just going to um, take one out as my template because I want them all the same size. So what I'm going to do is with each one, I'm just going to pop a little water to make sure that they're secure. On. Because we don't want them coming off in transport. Okay, now we've um, done the um, four as well, so we have a finishing line. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to work on um, the cars to go around the top. Okay, so I'm going to do a red car this time. So what I've got is some red um, fondant. I'm just going to give it a quick knead. And then that end off. I'm gonna take some fondant and I'm gonna roll it in my hands. Like so it's probably a bit too big actually. And then I'm just gonna with my hands I'm just gonna roll it into a sausage shape. I'm going to measure it up against this one. Yep, that's fine. 
So I'm just going to elongate it a bit with my hands and I'm just pinching to get a shape. And I'll put that to one side. Now I've already got some black already rolled out. Sorry, why I just turned the camera around. And all I'm going to do is to make the wheels using just a, 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 a piping nozzle. I'm just going to cut four little discs out. And then I've got a bigger piping nozzle that's got a, a hole at the end. And all I'm going to do is insert that nozzle to make a ring like shape. Into the four tyres. And then getting my paintbrush I'm just going to pop my tires onto my car like so And then I've got my boning tool and I'm going to use the biggest ends. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little indentation in the car. And that's where our little man's head's going to be. So I've got a little piece of black fondant. I'm just going to roll it into a ball, making sure that it's the same size. Now I don't need all of this fondant here so I'm just going to take a bit off because my head's a little bit too small. I'm just going to knead it so it all incorporates first. And then popping it on. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> pop some water on that so it sticks. And then I've got some, sorry, I've got some white fondant already made up. And I'm just going to cut a strip off. Tidy up the ends. Now I can see that's a little bit too big, so I'm just going to take a bit more off and again. Tidy up the ends. And I think that's fine. And I'm just going to put a little bit more water on this piece of white. And there we have our driver. And he will go on our cake as well. Now I'm going to show you them. I'm going to make a couple to go onto our uh, four racing car track cake. So I'm going to get on and make another two and then I'll put them on and show you what the cake looks like when it's all finished. Um, I've just put my um, racing cars on our uh, cake. And now what I'm going to do is just around the sides here, I'm just going to put some grass just to give it a little bit more of a character. And it's quite easy to make grass, very, very simple. I've just got um, a ball of fondant. So excuse my arm, I'm just moving the water out of the way. So it's over here. I've got a ball of fondant and all I'm going to do is take a little bit 
roll it in a bowl and I've got a garlic crusher. So what I'm going to do is just push my fondant into the garlic crusher like so. And I'm not going to use the first bit that comes out. Um, in case there was any dirt or anything on it. So I'm going to put my ball in and then I'm just going to squeeze hard using my uh, marzipan knife and there we have little pieces of grass. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place them in and around the actual cake and if I move the video camera around you can see we've got some grass so I'm going to get on with that now and uh, I'll show you when it's all done so as you can see I've put the grass around the cake just to give it a little bit of character on the board and there we have it this is our number four um, racing car cake and I hope you've enjoyed watching our tutorial on this.